Hey, what's up everybody? Slifael is here. Thanks again for watching and welcome to a new episode of Cryptocurrency Entertainment 101. So these series are intended for people that are new to cryptocurrencies and want to know the basics. So today, I'm going to show you how to install the IOTA wallet. So let's go! So to download the wallet, you first need to go to iotasupport.com. And don't worry, I will put all the links in the description. So whenever you are at iodasupport.com, click on menu, click on links, and if you scroll down, you see a link to the GUI wallet. Whenever you click on it, it will bring you to the GitHub page where you can download the wallet. As a note, the V2.3 version for me wasn't working accordingly because it doesn't generate a seed for me. However, the 2.2.6 release does generate a seed. So you can download this version, generate a seed and then upgrade it to the V3 version. And please note, I don't know if this is also the case for Windows, but for Mac it is the case at least. So as you can see, there are different versions which you can download. So please use the version that is suitable for you. Whenever you have downloaded it, it's just a matter of dragging it into the application folders and it will be available in your applications. Here it is. So whenever you open the IOTA wallet for the first time, it will ask you to run a light node or a full node. I would recommend to use a light node because then it doesn't consume as much capacity. However, for using a light node, it is required that you connect to one of the servers that is running the distributed ledger. So I will show you now where you can find the servers. So if we go back to the iodasupport.com website, you see a button right here, Light Wallet Servers. If you scroll down below, You see here a server that you can use or if you scroll down you see other servers of choice that you can use. What's important to know is that you need to choose a server with the highest matching milestone numbers. So whenever you have done that you can start off the wallet. So whenever you have done that you will see this screen and then you need to generate the seed. So in order to do this, you need to go to tools and click on generate seed. Make sure you make a good backup of your seed because without your seed, you cannot access your funds, print it out and save it somewhere secure or store it on a device that is totally encrypted. So I've copied the seed fill it out and I click on login. So this is the wallet, pretty clean and straightforward. If you want to receive funds, you click on receive. So in order to receive funds, you need to attach at least one address to the tangle first. The tangle is the distributed ledger of IOTA. Address attached and you're good to go to receive funds in this wallet. If you want to generate another address, just click on generate new address and it will automatically be connected to the Tangle. So here you can see your balances. At the moment there are zero balances. And here you can send your IOTAs. So what is important to know is here you have the different units of IOTAs that you want to send out. So by default, it is set on IOTAs, but you can also send Kilo IOTAs, Mega IOTAs, Giga IOTAs, or Terra IOTAs. So if you look at the history, here you can see all the transactions or transfers that are done so this brings us to the end of a short walkthrough 
of the IOTA wallet. So that is the way you need to install the IOTA wallet. So as you can see, it's pretty easy, but you need to know the little details to get it done. So that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.